Welcome back to Pink Pretty and Sparkling. How are you doing today? So for today's video is an eyeshadow tutorial using the uh, Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes. Um, it's just a matte palette. It is really, really nice. Um, I love it. But, you know, I have to have some glitter. So I went ahead and used my Stila. Um, what's it called? Magnificent Metals Glitter Glow in the shade Next to Note which is what I have in the middle right here um, so yeah um, if you guys want to see this look then just keep on watching okay my dazzling beauties let's go ahead and begin uh, I want to go ahead and take peach meringue I think that's what it's called I think that's what you say actually and this is the Morphe E27 and I'm just gonna go ahead and dust this all over my eyelid um, I use my uh, Smashbox primer. We're gonna go ahead and get the. I have this long term wear cream shadow stick by Bobbi Brown. I think this is a sample, it's not a full size. Um, I think I got this one as a four box. I don't remember where exactly I got it. Um, it's gray, not black. I was, you know, I was a little hesitant whether to use white or to use uh, black or, you know, this gray one. Um, I just went ahead and took the gray one because we're going to put this one all over the lid. Just the lid. Like so. Like this. And this is going to serve as a base for our red shadow. And it's gonna intensify the color. Let me tell you, I wasn't sure what I wanted to do, but I was like, okay, let's just go with our gut. Okay, so now going back to my Too Faced Matte uh, palette, the Just Peachy palette, we're gonna go ahead and get Peach Sangria right here. And this is just the, you know, this is the C brush from Elf. So we're gonna go ahead and take some peach sangria and we're gonna go ahead and put it all over the gray color. You know, and this is gonna make sure that our more. I mean, and we're always gonna go back in and intensify it right now because you know, with all that belly and everything, um, so I'm gonna just gonna come off. Okay, so now I grabbed this uh, brush that is kind of like taper at the end. This is the Morphe M573. So it's fluffy, but it has like a tip right there. So I love this one. We're gonna go ahead and grab Peach Cobbler right here. So I kind of tried just to get this one on the tip. And then um, right there on the crease, okay? Sometimes I like to lift my, my hand to kind of get right into the crease. My eyes are kind of weird, so I do that. But you know, you do you. So right now what I want is to go ahead and buff this out first a little bit now. I don't want it to look terrible. Just windshield wiper motions. Grab a little bit of peach tea just to go above the crease. So we put it here, now we're gonna do it up here. Okay? Right there. And then uh, I kinda, because I wanna do a gradient, so I kinda grab a little bit of uh, the Fresh Shadow Peach Meringue with peach tea, just back and forth, make a lighter color than peach tea. And then I kinda put that kinda here where my highlight is, just to blend this. Make it look lighter. Now, I'm gonna go ahead and pick up the famous N433 uh, by Morphe as well, for those of you who are not familiar with the brand. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and pick just ripe this darker color kind of like um, grape I don't really like that color and now this one we're gonna go ahead and focus it as well in the crease you know and try to blend out this uh, our peach sangria the one that we put down I don't really know I don't know how I did it but I did it And make sure that you deposit all the color. Maybe do a little bit of a circular motion. Just to make sure that you're depositing the color where you want it. And then some windshield wiper motions. You know? And then once you know that you kind of have the pigment in there, then you're gonna turn it sideways. You, you won't grab it anymore, so just kind of turn it sideways and you're going to blend like this. Okay, so now I'm going to go back to the M573, the one with the taper end. And I'm going to go grab a little bit of peach cobbler with peach tea, okay? okay this is where the two that I use now. So, And I'm going to put this above the purpley one. I feel like I'm doing a little color combinations but it turned out pretty good and I don't wanna I don't wanna jump any steps. At first I was just like oh, I wonder how this looks like so go back to the brush right here. So we're gonna go ahead and grab some more of the peach sangria. This one right here and we're gonna re-intensify the lid color. You see how we do Wash away a lot of the pigment with the blending. <sighs> go back to the M433 and go back to just ripe. This time a little bit of pigment with side whites, you know, the thicker part. And I'm just gonna go like that. Oh my god. I think that looks good. So now, just one last time to put on some sangria. I'm gonna finish that shade real quick, huh? And now. I'm gonna get some of my NYX glitter primer. This one right here. I'm gonna put some on my finger. Just a tiny amount. I'm gonna dab it, kinda warm it up. Warm it up a little bit and then I'm gonna put it on the center where I'm gonna put my glitter. So now I'm gonna get my Stila and I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand see so where I have the other one because sometimes it's like really chunky when it, when you get it out I'm gonna put it on the back of my hand this is like really chunky and I don't want to mess up my my eyelid sometimes if you can wipe it on the the tube that way you're not wasting too much that'll be fine so now go ahead and add it where you put your we're gonna pick up our C brush and go back to sangria but not kind of like put a little tip Now for brow bone and inner corner highlight, I'm gonna go into my Jaclyn Hill palette. And I know that I owe you a tutorial on this one, and I really wanna do it, so don't worry, we're gonna get there. I'm gonna use this one right here. This one is really, really shimmery. 
I'm sorry, I'm just getting a sinus infection. I hate those things. I went to a doctor sometime last month. No, at the beginning of this month. Actually, never mind. I've been having, I've had like sinus infection like two or three times in the past two months. And this will be like the fourth one. And I just hate it, hate it, hate it. Because, you know, when you wear white makeup, it just kind of makes it difficult for you to do it. And we're going to wear our brow bone on the highest point of our brow, like right there. Man, this one is like really intense. So I'm going to go ahead and blend it with my finger for a little bit. Now we're going to go ahead and work on our uh, lower lash line. And for that, first I'm going to take this Lexi brush in, um, is it the 21, which is a flat brush. And I'm going to go ahead and get a little bit of peach sangria, since it's a big peach sangria. I think I mix it with something else, I don't remember. And a little bit of peach cobbler, these two. Let's see what we get. Okay, and I'm going to go ahead and smudge this. From the outer corner to the inner corner. I'm gonna grab a little more speech than me, yeah. Now I'm gonna grab a Morphe pencil brush E18. And I'm gonna grab a little more of that peach cobbler and smudge it out. For our tight line, I'm using this Maybelline in New York Master Precise Skinny. It's a tiny one. I wanted to get the blackest one, but I think I got confused when I got the gray one. But it's not that bad. It's it's pretty dark, so that should be okay. And um, so far, I'm liking this. I like the fact that it's you know skinny and doesn't really irritate my eyes. Well, it didn't happen with this one, so let's go ahead and see how, what happens with this one. For the bottom waterline, I'm gonna use this Marc Jacobs skinny one in the shade Nudist. I kind of like to warm up the tip a little bit on my on my hand, makes it go like makes it glide easier. For lashes, I'm gonna use the. Grand Glamour Lashes by Vegas Nay. Um, I've used this ones before, so it should be good. Um, let me go fix my hair, change into something else, and then I'll be right back and we'll give it the lip together. Okay? Uh, now that we're back, you can see how this looks. I mean, I feel so weird. I feel like so monochromatic because of this dress right here and then the eyes and everything oh no it's like lace dress um i think i wore this one on last birthday yeah like last year but anyways let's not get into those details they're sad details uh, <laughs> um i recently picked up this one at walgreens it's called copper rose by maybelline and it's their metallic collection I only tried it on like a little bit and it's really nice, but how will it look, you know, a metallic lip, like a red metallic with, you know, red eyeshadow, you know, so monochromatic, I don't know, should I, um, why not, so what do you think, it's just too monochromatic for your taste, I think it's for me too, I know, it doesn't look bad, what do you think this lip will be better with, you know, some natural eyes, which I never do. <laughs> um, but other than that, it looks pretty bampy, you know. If you don't mind, the monochromatic looks pretty good, you know, for this fall. And let's enjoy this fall before um, summer, before winter gets here. Um, I don't know, I'm, I'm really surprised that we haven't, snow, uh, we haven't had snow yet here in Kansas, but uh, I 
can't find wood, so we need to not go to wood. <laughs> um, anyways, what do you guys think of this one? Let's go ahead and change the lip really quick. Okay, my dancing beauty, let's go ahead and use this Wet n Wild Gel Lip Liner in Vertu Comment. And I'm going to go ahead and use this Makeup Forever um, Rouge Artist and Natural N9. Okay, so let's go ahead and go in with the lipstick. I think we're going to get a perfect match, actually. Yep, mm -hmm. just the match. And it's so creamy and so rich. I love it. Perfect for my dry lips right now. It's so nice. I really, really love it. So how does that look to you? I love it. Honestly, I love it. Supposedly, I was stepping out of my comfort zone. I know I've done some red looks, I think. I don't know if I posted any. But I've done some, you know, red looks in the past. But this one's completely different, to be honest. I really love how it looks. Um, I hope you guys like this tutorial. Um, let me know if you have any questions. Uh, thank you so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.